Hello again, everybody. This is Jan Monahan for Wrapping with Jan. I'm back from my vacation, but I came back with a horrible cold, and it's still bothering me. I'm still nasal, and <clears throat> so I've had my Hero Arts kit sitting in the box for the last couple of days, hoping that my oh that my voice and would clear up and I wouldn't sound so nasal, but <clears throat> I can't put it off anymore. So. This is the unboxing, and I'm going to go ahead and make five projects with this particular video, and I hope to make another five in the next couple of days, depending on how I feel. But anyway, here we go. As always, they have a nice thank you card, and um, they will always offer something else. Um, right now, uh, I've, I've got lots of flower stamps and uh, images, and I think I'm okay there. But um, anyway, here's my add-ons. We'll talk about that later. And right now, I haven't seen too many videos with this kit, and I'm not sure why. Um, the um, the Surfside kit or the Ocean kit was such a, it, it was a really big hit. Um, and I'm not quite sure why this one hasn't taken off. But in this particular kit, we have, um, I'll be able to use that ribbon for something. And this is. The state fair, county fair, um, I don't know what else you'd want to call it, and all kinds of really great images, and I'm going to flip it here, Let's see if you can see this. We have Enjoy the Ride, and we've got this really cool silhouette down here, um, Happy Birthday, and the carousel. Um, oh, this will be a good one. Uh, and the roller coasters. And um, I'm here for you through ups and downs. Now, we'll be able to do quite a bit with this. Um, also, I did, let's see, there are um, mm, it's red, white, and blue. ink cubes here and let's see this is uh, red reactive blue reactive and unicorn white this is probably if you know, guys if you're going to invest in a larger uh, white ink pad this is this is the one to to work with it's a it's a brilliant white um, you're looking for a soft white I'll I'm hoping I can find something for you, but this this looks fantastic on dark cardstock, even on craft cardstock. Um, but this is this is my go-to for the white and the red and the blue. I will do something with that. And then we've got these. Uh, it's not a grunge card, but it is a substantial cardstock, and. Um, I think we can probably do something with that. I've, um, I've ordered a bunch of different um, stamps, so I'll be able to match the uh, the stamp to the card or the card to the stamp. We'll find that out. And then, as far as the add-ons go, <clears throat> there is. It's not worth going to the county fair or the state fair without thinking about food. Um, we've got, there's pie and pretzels, and um, I hope life is uh, treats you kindly. Popcorn, um, cotton candy, snow cones, corn dogs, burgers, everything. Um, and they're, uh, they're matching dyes. So I'm looking forward to, uh, to using that. And as always, 
Now we've got the, oops, we've got the dies that go along with this. And um, the packaging, that's always fun. I'm not quite sure what I'll use with it, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I can find something to use with that. Um, we've got the, um, oops. Once again, we'll bring this in. We've got matching dies for several images here. And, um, this sunburst here, um, I'm not quite sure what we'll do with that, but we'll, we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. And then we've got the balloon, and we've got the uh, Ferris wheel, and um, the snack, the snack stand, the ticket stand. Um, my son's really into airplanes, so we'll, I'll make something with this for him. Uh, the arrows, and what else? What else is going on here? Um, oh, happy birthday. And fun. Okay. All right. So, hopefully in the next few days my um, cold will clear up and I won't sound quite so nasal. But um, I'm going to get started and I'll be right back. All right. Project number one. Uh, last week, we found out that uh, our neighborhood young man was uh, coming home from basic training. And a very nice lady in the neighborhood came around asking for donations for um, that we've got for anybody that lives in the, our tri state, which would be Indiana, Ohio, and Kentucky. Um, everybody knows about Kings Island. It's Paramount Kings Island and um, this young man is coming home from Fort Knox in the Army and we thought we would buy them a family weekend pass to Kings Island and this is just the this particular stamp set um, is very appropriate for this occasion. So I have gone ahead and in my misty I went ahead and stamped both the envelope and the card. Um, I, my, my card base I have a, a piece of blue card stock and uh, enjoy the ride which I think is very appropriate. So what I'm going to do I've got some um, Simon Says Intense Black ink. I'm going to put some in almost every evening. Um, Kings Island has a very spectacular uh, um, fireworks show. So this is this is even better. Um, we've got both reactive. I've got both reactive colors here. We've got the red and I've got the blue and we're going to make uh, going to color these or paint these in and as soon as these dry I'm going to put some Wink of Stella on there. And I'm also going to put some... Oh, that's a little too dark. Let's see if I can get some more. Get some more off of there. Oh, it might be too late. Boy, that stuff soaks in big. All right. Try this. Oh, that's a little better. Okay. All right. Now let's do, go ahead and do the envelope. Okay. 
and he's not quite sure where he's going to be stationed after this. Of course, um, as expected, his his father's very proud and his mother's very worried. Um, and um, but the whole neighborhood's very very proud of him. We went to his uh, um, graduation party. And it was all in red, white, and blue. And um, that was that was appropriate also. So, um, yeah. So we're hoping that they're going to have a nice time. Um, he's got a little brother and a little sister. He's the oldest. And we hope everyone has a good time at Kings Island. Um, my kids went there. And... Um, as much fun as it was back then, I'm glad I don't have to go anymore. For those of you who, <laughs> who know what amusement parks are all about. Um, there we are. Okay. Now, let's see if I can find my Wicastella. Here we go. Give it a little pizzazz here. Wink of Stella dries very quickly, as does these reactive inks. Um, so I don't think there's going to be a problem. Nope, we're, we're good. We are very good. Well, try again. center that and just as an added bonus and I've got some American flags here and we're going to be handing this uh, hand delivering this to the family so we don't have to worry about a stamp we'll put that up there but that is project number one. All right, on to project number two. I've used several things from one of the add-ons. This particular add-on is um, Your Sweet is Pie. And I have uh, stamped and die cut and colored with Copic markers the um, cotton candy and from the main kit I've got the uh, I'm not sure what you call this sunburst whatever it is now it just so happens that this uh, rectangle basic set from who is this from memory box the largest rectangle goes directly on top of the sunburst. So that made things very easy for cutting out and um, I like easy. <clears throat> so what I've done is I put a piece of pink cardstock on a um, 5x7 card and I've covered it up with, I'm going to cover it up with the uh, Starburst, and we're going to go from there. Now, I'm not sure what happened. There's a little bitty mark here, and I can't seem to get it off, but if I play my cards right, 
um, I'll be able to be able to cover it up and um, covering up mistakes is unfortunately one of my fortes I make a lot of them and um, so over the years I've in rubber stamping I've made my share so I've learned to cover up my errors pretty well let's see if I can do it again this time all right and in this little container in this little uh, applicator is the Ranger multi matte medium bring this over here. Ah, it does. Yay! All right. There we go. Okay. Now, when I was a kid, my mother would not let us have cotton candy because she said that it attracted all the germs in the air and she's probably right but um i wasn't very happy about the way she decided what we could have and what we couldn't um and uh i swore oh i'm never going to do that to my kids well guess what they can't have it either <laughs> so um i don't think it really matters whether you put treat yourself on the top or on the bottom but I'm going to put treat yourself right at the top and both of these cotton candy and I will uh, show you down at the bottom of the screen which colors I used. They were, it was um, three of the, uh, I don't know, let's see, what was it? Two RV and one um, R, but like I said, I will um, link to those here. And, whoops. Well, let's see. And all I did with this is there are several uh, sentiments on the um, treat yourself or your sweetie, let's see, what is it? Um, your sweetest pie. And there's things like treat yourself, it's your birthday, you've got taste, you're tasty, your sweetest pie, and mm, I like those good things. And there is project number two. On to project number three. Okay, on to project number three. As you can see, I've got my Copic marker collection here. And from the kit, I've used the balloons and the sentiment, I'm here for you through ups and downs. And I thought the balloon was a very good illustration of ups and downs. And what I've done is I just went ahead and stamped this. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my water brush and let's see, where is it? Here it is. Uh, this uh, blue reactive ink. I'm going to go ahead and kind of make my own clouds here. I don't have a, uh, a template for that, so we're just going to have to do this freehand. Um, so bear with me here. Well, that doesn't look 
too bad. Okay. And I think you get the general idea. I'm going to have to get one of those wonderful templates. <coughs> um, but for right now, this is going to have to do. Okay. Now, I went ahead and I um, stamped and cut and colored a variety of these little balloons. And I took the uh, dimensional dots. And I'm going to put this mm, all over here. And I don't know whether they're going to have a problem, but the people at the post office are going to have a problem with these. Um, I, I would hope not. Uh, those of you who have uh, dimensional tape, it might be better because it doesn't protrude quite the same or quite as much through the um, through the card. And um, and like always, don't when you're finished with this, don't throw this away. Use all this, all this, and uh, that's that's the way you'll save yourself some money. These supplies, unfortunately, are not inexpensive, um, but they are necessary. And let's see, how about over here? There we go. All right, and we'll put that on our card base. Whoops. All right, here's my card base. card and I could show you how I did the um, colored all the balloons as nothing earth shattering you could do this with um, you could do this with colored pencil you could do it with watercolor you could do it with acrylics um, I decided just to do this with my Copics because that's what I had on hand and um, These particular envelopes are substantial enough that it's not going to bleed through um, the back of the back of the envelope. And even if it does, big deal. I'm coloring all the baskets of these balloons brown because I believe that's what most of them are. I don't see them on a daily basis so Let's see, what do I want my last one to be? How about a green? We don't have a green one, do we? No. I do have envelopes that um, my Copics do bleed through. And for that, I usually slip a, um, a scrap piece of paper under the area that I'm working with my Copics, and that prevents uh, that prevents the bleed through. So, okay, there you have it, plain and simple. This is project number three, and we'll be on to project number four in just a moment. Okay, on to project number four, if memory serves. 
Um, I've done a lot of this work ahead of time because there's nothing earth shattering that um, most of you can't do. Um, from the kit, I have used the Ferris wheel and its matching die, and I've also used the uh, You Make the World Go Around stamp. And in addition, I've taken my stitched banners and I've lined them up. Um, and I'm not sure why I chose, chose these colors. They were just kind of what I had hanging around. I colored in both the, um, the, the Ferris wheel and the You Make My World Go Around with some matching. Um, I, I did my best to, to match with my Copic markers all the, the banners. And I did the same for the envelope. And um, so let's, let's finish this card. It's easier said than done. <clears throat> and this can be for a birthday or an encouragement card or just to say hello, even a thank you. And I've got a top folding, let's see, what is this? Uh, four and a quarter by five and a half top folding card base. And I'm going to put this on here and then we'll do some final touches. Go ahead and center that the best you can. And for some added interest, I'm using uh, Nouveau Glitter Drops, and I believe this is um, White Blizzard. And I like these because they dry relatively flat, but they still maintain a modest amount of interest. we can put it in the envelope and send it off to whomever. So these were the only supplies you needed. The, um, the stitch dies came from Simon Says Stamp and um, everything else with the exception of the Nouveau drops and the, and the uh, markers came from the kit. So this is just another idea. All right, I've got one more project for this video, and we'll see that next. All right, I have scoured YouTube and the internet and looked at everybody's ideas for this particular kit, and nobody, at least what from what I can find, um, did anything with the postcards. And I, I admit, this is it was a. a um, it was something that I've never done before, um, and I'm going to give it a try. The first time I tried it, uh, I, I didn't like it. I just, um, I don't know whether it was not balanced, whatever it was, but anyway. Um, and I also made the mistake of not waiting until the ink was dry, and I used since this was going at, going to go in the mail, uh, and, I, and if I used any ink that would run, um, I wanted to put a distress glaze on it. And I didn't wait, and I smeared it. So let's see if I can correct that error this time. And I'm using Simon Says Intense Black Ink. And this is probably the best on the market, the best ink for all purposes. Um, 
Copics, watercolor, um, distress inks, chalks. Well, I don't know about chalks. I haven't tried it with chalks. I'll have to. That'll be another another day. Let's see if we can do this the first time. take all this off and I want to put something in the airplanes banner and I think I'm just going to put hello there and hope that that works okay oops took the magnets off too soon all right, let's make sure that this, nope. And for those of you who think that all of us who do videos are just, this is just a first time, no. <laughs> you would be surprised how many times we redo this and how much time it takes for editing. So we are not magicians. We're artists, but not magicians. And hello there. Okay. Now that time, it worked. All right. A finishing touch. Um, out of my stash, I have these tickets. And I believe this came from Islet Outlet, and I will leave a link on the bottom of the screen for this. Um, but it's a an admit one for whatever purpose. And it's just washi tape with tickets on it. And rather than cutting it, I want to make it a look a little authentic. So I'm going to tear it. There's one. And two. Okay. And as on my first one, I didn't do it with this one. But I put happy birthday and hope it's a good one. And so that is project number five. And if we can go through here and take a look, our first one was to a military family that uh, we neighborhood got together and uh, got them up past to the amusement park just south of here. And our second one, this is my favorite one, uh, treat yourself, it's your birthday. And our ups and downs with our balloons and then you make my world go around very simple very quick um, nothing earth shattering but always appreciated and I made envelopes for all of these and then our final one is our postcard so that's it for wrapping with Jan for this edition and I'll be back next week with a new technique and if you like what you see, give me a comment. Sign up for my YouTube channel. We'd love to have you. All right, I'll see you next time. Thank you.